Okay, we're going to go through lesson 12-8. I just want you to do this <clears throat> whole lesson with me, okay? This is page 651. Okay. So Marcus, Mariah, and Tony painted a mural. They divided it into three equal parts. Marcus painted two parts, okay? So here we have Marcus. He paints two parts of it, okay? And Mariah paints three parts. Okay, and Tony paints the rest. Well, how many does Tony paint? Well, I don't know because we don't know how many parts total there were, right? So um, if you look here, what fraction of the mural, mural did each student paint? Well, we have to know what our denominator is. And our denominator is how many parts total you have. And we don't have that, okay? So we do not have any way of being able to figure that out, okay? So decide if this has any missing or extra information. Uh, we are missing information, sorry, missing info is total number of parts. Okay, they have to tell us there are 10 parts total or I mean there was, you have to have at least six parts because Marcus does three parts, I'm sorry, Marcus does two, Maria does, uh, Mariah does three and Tony paints the rest. So Tony does at least one. But I mean, he could have done one, two, three, four, five. We have we don't know how many parts total there are. Okay. Um, so let's go to the back. Okay, Suki divides her garden into six equal parts, and she plants daisies, roses, and violets. So they at least told us the six equal parts this time. So we know that she plants daisies, roses, and violets, three different kinds of plants. It takes her one hour to plant the flowers. She plants daisies in one part, okay? So here's here's our um, garden, right? I don't know how many parts we need, so I kind of leave that open like that. But this part is daisies. Um, she does roses in two parts, right? And violets in the rest, so we have six parts. So one, two, three four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is not part of the garden. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, which is our six equal parts. Daisies in one, roses in two. So how many, these, the rest is violet. So this must be violet, violet, and violet, okay? In what fraction of the garden does Suki plant violets? Okay, so... Our denominator is the total number of sections. One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many sections are violets? Three. Okay, so three, six. So if you look down here, they made a pretty little, a much nicer garden than my rectangular garden that I grew. And here's our one, six daisies. And then these are our roses, okay? and that these ones must be violets, okay? So one-sixth is daisies right here. Daisies is one-sixth, right? Roses are two-sixth, and violets are three-sixths of the garden. Um, how can you make sure? Well, let's, let's try to add them up here, okay? If we have one-sixth plus two-sixth plus three-sixth, right? So as long as our denominator is the same, this is like saying I have one apple and two apples and three apples, how many apples do I have total, okay? We just can't add one apple and let's say this is a five and two oranges and three apples and say that we have six apples. We don't, two of them were oranges. So if this denominator is different, you can't add them together. But if all the denominators are the same and we're talking about the same thing, then we are looking at six, six, which is the whole garden.
okay? One plus two is three, plus three is six. So that's how we can check to make sure it equals to the whole, okay? Kira and Matt cut a sandwich into four equal parts. They each ate one part. Kira is, eight, is nine years old. Matt is the same age as Kira. What fraction of the sandwich is not eaten? Okay, is there any missing or extra information? Explain. All right, um, so let's say we have Matt and Kira. They cut a sandwich into four equal parts. They each ate one part. Kira is nine years old. Okay, good for Kira, but that has nothing to do with our fraction. So missing or extra information would be extra, would be Kira's age. We're very happy for Kira that she's nine, but it has nothing to do with our fractions, okay? And, and Matt, yeah, so Kira and Matt's age. We, we, it doesn't matter how old they are. It's great. We love them. They're fabulous, but they have nothing to do with this. Okay, we have four equal parts. So let's draw our sandwich, and we want to make it into four equal parts. So if you draw your sandwich, four equal parts, three lines. Okay, I did my best to make them equal. One's a little shorter, but that's okay. So um, they each ate one part. So Kira ate this, and Matt ate that. So Kira ate one-fourth. Matt ate one-fourth. There's a fourth empty here and a fourth empty here, okay? What fraction of it is not eaten? Okay, we have one-fourth that is not eaten and one-fourth that is not eaten. So how many fourths are not eaten? One, two. Two-fourths are not eaten, okay? If they said how many, what fraction of the sandwich is eaten, you would still, the answer would still be two-fourths because you'd be talking about these two-fourths, not those two-fourths. All right, Marnie planted a vegetable garden. She put in lettuce in one part, carrots in four parts, and broccoli in the rest. Okay, so let's let's just draw our garden here, okay? We got lettuce in one part, and we have carrots in four parts. We must have more parts still over here. Lettuce in one part, carrots in fourths, and broccoli in the rest. What fraction of the garden did Marnie plant broccoli? Okay, do we know how many parts total? We don't. We could have broccoli here. There could, could be continuing to be broccoli. There could be continuing to be broccoli. We don't know how big the garden is. It just says one part of lettuce, four parts of carrots, and broccoli in the rest. Well, what's the rest? How many total are there? So missing equals total number of parts, okay? <coughs> Solve the problem. If the information you need is missing, it is, make up some reasonable information for the problem. So they want us to make up how many parts total. So let's just say total parts equals, we know it has to be we have four plus one, we have five parts plus some broccoli. So it's gotta be one, two, three, four, five. And then let's just say we have two more parts. So let's say there's seven parts total. I'm making that up. It could be six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, but, but it has to be six or more because we have five parts plus there is some broccoli. So it has to be at least six, but let's just say seven for fun. Okay. Um, and then that would mean that if we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that we would have two parts broccoli, okay? And what fraction? We would have two parts broccoli out of the total seven parts, okay? Can you use a different number of parts and still solve the problem? Sure, okay, total parts, Let's say we have 10 total parts. Okay, so let's draw your garden with 10 parts. So 10 parts equals nine, nine lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna make more of a box. 10, let's just check. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I have ten parts total. Remember, I have one lettuce, four carrots, and the rest broccoli. So I want you to write a fraction for this part of the garden that is broccoli. Why don't you pause it and do that? Okay, my denominator has to be 10, and I would have 5 tenths would be broccoli. I want you to pause it and write a fraction for the part of the garden that is carrots and the part of the garden that is lettuce. Okay, pause it and come back. Okay. Carrots should have a denominator of 10. It should be 4 tenths. And lettuce should be 1 tenth. Okay. Let's take a look at that. All right. Green School divides its gym into eight equal parts for the sports day. Okay. So we know our denominator is eight. Okay. Because they're telling us it's eight parts. Basketball is in two parts. Okay. So here we have... Two parts basketball, okay, so basketball is two eighths. Soccer is one part, so out of the eight parts, it's one part, it's one eighth soccer. And volleyball and tennis are the rest, okay? The teacher wants to know what fraction of the gym is used for tennis. Well, we don't know. We have to know what volleyball is. It doesn't say that it's split equally, it just says the rest, okay? So what information do you need to solve? Um, we would need to know like the number of volleyball parts, okay? We, we would have to know that. Um, okay, what fraction of the gym would be used for tennis if two parts were volleyball? Okay, so now, okay, so let's, we have eight parts. So I want you to, to draw your gym Divide it into eight parts, which means seven lines. Okay. And um, let's put our thing. We got basketball, two parts basketball, one part soccer, and two parts volleyball. Okay, so what fraction, the rest of this has to be tennis. So I want you to pause it, fill those in with tennis, and write what fraction of the gym would be used for tennis. So denominator is eight, and it would be three-eighths of the gym would be tennis. What fraction of the gym would be used for tennis if three parts were for volleyball? Okay, well, so draw your gym again. Again, there's still only eight sections, so that means seven lines. Okay, we got two basketball, one soccer, and now we want three parts volleyball. Okay, so write a fraction for how much will be used for tennis. Okay, your denominator is eight and it should be two eighths for tennis. To have the same fraction for tennis as basketball, which plan seven or eight would be used? Okay, so we want, this is tennis is two eighths here and tennis is three eighths there. So basketball is two eighths and two eighths. So which one has the same Fraction for basketball and tennis. Would it be this plan or this plan? It would be this one. Number eight, and then we would say they both have two eights. Okay, they'd be equal. Okay, very good. You may stop.